What's going on? It's Ed here from ClicksGeek. We're a Google Premier Partner Agency and we specialize in generating leads for local businesses and for agencies. So uh, today we're going to talk about our onboarding process. Uh, I think one of the things we're sort of known for amongst our clients and, and people we speak with is how fast we onboard clients. Uh, our goal is to onboard, send you the onboard email, get everything back, and then have you live in market or ready to go live in market two to four business days later. So I'm going to quickly walk you through how that works, what our process is, and why it could be potentially so simple. So if you're a business owner, you obviously want speed. But if you're an agency owner watching this or if you're a freelancer, uh, I'm going to walk you through some of, the, some of the things that we do internally that help us speed up the process, eliminate mistakes, and get you live uh, or get your client live in market as fast as possible. Now, one of the reasons we... Um, we're able to do this so fast as we have a really documented process. Um, we're going to be putting that whole process inside the ads course. I'm sorry, the agency course that we're building. Um, if you go down in the description of this video, uh, you'll see some links about that. But um, but basically, we, we've documented how it all works. So basically, an onboard email goes out specific to a client with their, their name onboarding for Joe Blow Plumbing, um, whatever it is. Um, in there has got the payment link and a short questionnaire. The payment link is a simple one-time recurring payment link where they make the purchase once and then it gets an auto recurring in uh, a month later on that same day. Um, we strongly believe in setting up a recurring payment as opposed to invoicing them. No chasing checks. Make your life easier. All right, so onboarding. In that onboarding email, I'm asking for stuff like, well, let me, let me, let me back up. We have two kinds of onboardings. One is a direct client, so when the business owner comes direct to us. The other is a white label um, example. So I'm going to go through the white label one because there's a little bit more information. And if it's a direct retail one, all it is is literally just remove the white label stuff and say the same thing. <clears throat> so when it's a white label agency, I want to know the name of the agency. I want to know their MCC number. I want to know what email address or addresses to send reporting to. I want to know what email address we're going to set up the CallRail sub-account with. Um, CallRail is a third-party call tracking tool that we use, and we create a sub-account either at the agency level or the individual client level, and that's going to be a dashboard they can log into to view all of their call activities. Um, and then I just want them to confirm that their client account is inside their MCC account, so just a simple check of that. Next is the actual client information. I want to know the client's um, business name. I want to know their website. I want to know their Google Ads customer ID number. I want to know the niche that we're targeting or niches that we're targeting. I want to know the ad budget, the ad schedule. I want to know phone number to send leads to. I want to know if they want calls recorded. I want to know email address to send recordings or notifications to. I want to know the email address to send um, form submissions to. I want to know um, anything pertinent I should know about the account. Any disclosures that need to be on the page, whether it be legal or real estate or any sort of, um, how would the word be, licensed industry that requires a disclosure. Every every state's a little bit different. Every county's a little bit different. Um, some contractors are required to put their number on the page. Um, some real estate agents are required to put a disclosure on the page. So you just want to find that information out. So I think I, threw, I went through everything. Um, we went through client website, client name or client business name, um, Google Ads customer ID number, ad budget, ad schedule, geo-targeting, phone number, emails to send leads to, email to send notifications to for phone calls. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then I just leave a space down there for anything else pertinent that we should know within the account. And that's it. Once um, payment's been made and all of that information is sent back to us, we're on the clock. And we begin the onboarding process. For us, what we do is... Um, our team puts together an email, gets that over to our, our back of house team or our development team, whatever you want to call it. From there, um, we begin the build out process of the landing page. So we get a .co version of whatever the branded URL is. So it's joeblowplumbing.com. We'd go by joeblowplumbing.co. We'd put the landing page there. Then it would go into production of the actual account itself. And we would go through all of the conversion um, setup. We'd go through all of the call tracking setup, build out the campaign itself, 
move the codes over to the landing page so we can track properly, connect the call rail account and the um, ads account. And then um, we'd set up reporting. And then from there, back of the house team would send front of the house team an email saying, we're good to go. Here's some information that the client's going to need. Here's their landing page. Um, they, they're going to be getting a notification from CallRail that they need to accept. Everything else is we're good to go. So the front of house team, me or whoever, would send that off to the client. The client would take a look at it, look at the landing page. If they had any edits or anything like that, they'd let us know. Um, if they're good to go, we can turn the campaign off. Uh, one note, they are going to need to accept a call rail invitation, and once they accept it, just let us know. And then um, back of the house team goes into call rail, accepts the um, the notification, or basically adds them in to be able to um, receive notifications, and they're good to go. I'm going to put this on hold for one second. I just got a call coming in that I have to answer.